Streaming setup consists of various components, all of which are crucial. However, the video encoder is particularly important. In fact, without it, you won't be able to stream anywhere. So should I use a software encoder or a dedicated hardware? In this video, I will take you through the major consideration when deciding on hardware encoding or software encoding. First, let's take a closer look at two kinds of encoders. When it comes to the software encoder, I'm referring to an application that runs on a computer or mobile device. There are many software encoders available. OBS Studio or vMix are examples of the popular software encoders you might use. By hardware encoder, I mean a dedicated appliance that builds from the ground up for live streaming and recording. Yolobox, Yolobox Pro, and Instream are great examples, and you can directly connect it to multiple cameras with them. Now compared to our cover five key factors, availability, quality, reliability, affordability, and ease of use. Availability might be the biggest advantage of software encoders. These days, everyone has an internet-connected device that can stream and record video. Because software encoders run off a standard computer hardware, provision and replacement are a lot simpler too. Uh, but if getting your hands on one or the other isn't a problem, you may be better served by hardware encoders. Usually, software encoders may produce low quality output than the hardware encoders, particularly when encoding at high bit rates or using complex encoding settings. Compared with the software encoder, hardware encoders have multiple built in inputs for high quality video and audio such as HDMI input and output, back in and line in, whereas uh, software encoders are limited to what's built into the computer they are operating on, unless you add separate capture cards or audio interfaces. Reliability is everything, especially for video production, so which is better for your live streaming? Definitely hardware encoders. Software encoders are more prone to errors and crashes than the hardware encoders, particularly if the computer running the software encoder is under heavy load. Hardware encoders are more reliable because they are tailor-made for video production, and you won't need to worry about the screen freezing on your laptop or losing the data. With so many software encoders and dedicated appliances on the pro AV market, it's impossible to say for sure which is more affordable. Generally, a software encoder setup requires a lower initial investment compared to a hardware encoder. However, hardware encoders are becoming more popular for high-end productions that involve multiple cameras or streaming at 1080p or 4K. A hardware encoder could be more cost-effective option considering the additional expenses of uh, capture cards, audio interfaces, and high price components needed to match the performance of a software setup. A dedicated appliance can also be much easier to use than a computer-based setup. For example, Yolobus Pro has an 8-inch touchscreen as an Android tablet. All production is at your fingertip and super easy to operate. You can stream simultaneously to multiple destinations with a simple tab on the button on the screen. The menu on the right bottom of the screen are easy to navigate and there are many free premium features such as overlays, featured comments, audio mixer, scoreboard, invite guests, Users can easily find everything they need. With the features like this, Yolobus Pro is uh, simple to use and simple to train others how to use. I hope this helped answer the question hardware versus the software encoding. Of course, it's not always a choice between one or the other. Your mileage may vary. Some applications may need both or software may be the best due to the project constraints. All things considered though, the victory goes to hardware. If you'd like to learn more about YOLO Live hardware encoders, check out our website and follow our official YOLO Live user group and YouTube channel for the latest setup inspirations and customer experiences. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.